Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 50 big money bolos coming your way. Um, most of these are unexpected. Uh, these were shared in my Facebook group, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I will link it down in the description of the video. If you guys are not a member, definitely go join. Um, it's free to join and we talk about all things bolos, but it is also a resellers group. So lots of um, reseller help available. So if you have questions about reselling or just want to share a bolo, be sure to uh, join down below. All right, you guys, let's get started with these big money bolos. Again, I post these. What I do is I post live auctions that are current at the time in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and we watch it as a group. Um, these are typically big money items that already have a lot of bids and a lot of unique bidders. So I kind of try to do the research to make sure it is a legit item. So let's get started with these big money bolos. Okay, so the first item is this. Oh, let me check something here. I apologize. Okay. Is this Lego Ideas? And it's an old fishing store. It's a retired set, you guys. The box is damaged. So I will tell you that Lego sets in general. If they are retired and maybe limited numbers were produced, they can go for big money. This one sold for $390 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage. Um, it's a sharpening stone, you guys. It's made in Germany. And Eschner, or no, Escher, uh, Sun, Water Razor. I don't know. This is what it looks like, you guys. and. This sold for $560, which is just unbelievable here. Look at the um, the packaging, the adver vintage advertising. So very, very cool. It is a sharpening stone. The next item that sold are these vintage 1940s 14 karat gold jadeite jade long dangle pierced carved earrings. You guys, I have a pair that I picked up at a garage sale. I have a video on it. I'm actually like sourcing in the video. And I found these in a bunch of jewelry that I bought at a garage sale. I think my cost of goods was around 50 cents. Mine say 10K on the back. And mine, I think, are like a deeper green color. I really don't know what that means. I actually have a video over on my uh, reseller testing Bolo products of my item and me testing it with the gemstone tester. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my goodness, I totally recognize them. I have not listed mine yet um, because I really wasn't sure how to list them. So I may have to uh, use this um, info, you know, it must be a good title, but these sold for $373.99. And they are screw back earrings here and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Vintage Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a lot. This sold for $1,575 with free shipping. Now, shipping is gonna be probably pretty pricey for something like this, but this one kind of set alarms off in my mind. I'm like, mm, I don't know, this just doesn't seem, something about this doesn't seem right. It seems like it's going for too much money. And, um, but I don't know enough about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I do have some people in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that know a lot about toys. And one of the guys said, like a lot of times somebody who has a storefront will buy these items in bulk and then sell them in their store for a profit. But he said that this lot at this price probably would not be a good buy. So what I did notice here is that this item was actually relisted. So if you click on relisted this item, if you go in here, you can see that the starting bid is $99 and you can buy it now for $999. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's a good way to know if the item sold or did not sell. So this ends on January 22nd. So it was, oh, I'm sorry. It ended on January 22nd. So.
So they must have ended the item. Yeah, it looks like the seller ended the listing. I wonder if this is the same one. It kind of looks like the same items, doesn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. It's deflated. Anyway, so that's just a way for you guys to kind of know at some things to look for. And usually I don't show those, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how I knew that the item was um, not a good, it didn't sell. The buyer didn't pay. This vintage Bosch beer tab, it is a um, from Bosch Brewing Company. So it's a beer tab. And this sold for $120 plus shipping. And the sellers got really good pictures. They're showing all the angles, all the sides. That's really important to do, you guys. Um, so your buyer knows exactly what they're getting in the condition that it's in. The next item are these Hallmark Keepsake Miniature Christmas Ornaments. It's a lot of eight. I'm not sure which one is driving up the value or if it's that it is a set. These are all, um, the top row are nutcrackers. And it looks like one on the bottom. And then the berry moors. It looks like these three are the berry moors. So I'm surprised they didn't separate them like the nutcrackers and the berry moors. But either way, um, it looks like this sold for $202.50 and the buyer paid shipping. So in a situation like this, if you look them up individually and they're not valuable, the best thing to do is throw them in a lot. And this one just happened to have a bidding war and the seller did pretty good. This one I love. Okay, you guys, this is ephemera. Uh, it's a vintage John Deere one and two hole hand shellers brochure. It's from 1920, you guys. It's in pretty good condition for being that old. So it is collectible because it's John Deere and people collect this stuff. And again, it's really old, 1920. Um, this sold for $1,108, you guys. And if you go into the bid history, you can see that there were 10 unique bidders and the winning bidder had 1,159 feedback. And the one before that had 2,263 feedback. So what I can tell you from that is people that have over a thousand feedback probably are going to pay for the item. Now, is that guaranteed? Absolutely not. But um, it, it's more likely. Like if somebody has zero feedback or one feedback, they're probably not going to pay. I mean, I shouldn't say that. If it's a crazy high auction, I don't know. I would question it more. I do have people that buy from me that have zero and one feedback all the time. And um, so I don't know. When people say they don't want to accept offers from buyers with zero and one feedback, I, I do. I, I don't block them. I think there's a way on eBay to go in and block buyers with um, zero feedback. I'm not 100% sure if that's still something you can do or not, but I would not do that because I have people that buy all the time that come in as a guest or that are just looking for that specific rare, hard to find item. This is a Brat Sunkissed Summer Collection doll. And um, I can actually tell you that this was picked up by Mindful Recycle. She has a YouTube channel. It is fantastic. She is a major bolo finder. She picked this up for $10. The auction is still going. There's 43 minutes left and it is currently at $255 plus shipping. It is in the original packaging and I know she got a bunch of these. So if you want to check out her store, again, that's Mindful Recycle on YouTube and Bratz dolls that are vintage or older. This one's not quite vintage. It's from 2004. Retired, we'll say, can definitely be a bolo. The next item is this Harley Davidson vintage oil can. This sold for $528 with free shipping. And again, the seller did a good job of showing all sides. And Harley Davidson's collectible vintage tin cans are also very collectible. The next item is this vintage Mego DC Comics Aquaman and the Great White Shark from 1978, you guys. How cool is this? This guy sold for $1,350. 1978. Let's look at the history here. We're not going to look at the history on all of them. But again, 861 feedback, 2405 feedback. So probably got paid for. And a lot of times people will not leave feedback. 
So it's not always a guarantee. You can go in and look at feedback to see if they actually pay. But again, that's not always 100% foolproof there. Bluebird Vintage Poly Pocket. You guys, I always share these in the Facebook group because they're super fun. Um, if I had this lot, I would have sold these items individually. I think they left some money on the table by selling it as a lot. But I have seen some of these go for really big money when people sell them in lots like this. I am not a Polly Pocket expert, so I probably would have looked them up individually and then decided what to do. This sold for $233.50 with free shipping. The next item is this huge lot of vintage uh, G.I. Joe weapons, backpacks, ac accessories, missiles, weapons. It's just a huge lot. Um, if you guys don't know, some of the vintage items like this can definitely be a big money bolo. Um, you really have to know what you're looking for. Like I would see these and I would have no idea that these were G.I. Joe items, but somebody who collects or knows about toys would definitely know the value of this lot. So this could be a reseller buying this lot. This sold for $435 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage doll border fabric. It is, um, it says cotton quilt. But it's just fabric, you guys. And this sold for $162.49. So I'm guessing this is a retired sought after pattern. I'm really not sure. I don't know much about fabric. I do know that some of it can go for a lot of money like this. The next item is this Hernand. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, it's, the, it's an animal figurine. And they're a pair of drafts. And they are really, really spectacular. And this sold for $870 plus shipping. I was going to see, okay, right here it looks like is the marking. It's kind of hard to see. Looks like it might be numbered as well. So I don't know too much about that brand, but I just thought it was really, really cool. So I pulled the auction up and shared it in the Facebook group. Okay, so these junk drawer lots. Um, I will tell you that these tempt me sometimes. I love selling smalls and this one looked like it had quite a bit of good stuff and it's a big lot. So let's say you listed every item for $10 and I'm sure there's items that are here that are worth more than $10, but even at $10 a piece, I mean, there's a lot of potential here. So um, maybe a lot of it's bread and butter, maybe not. I don't know. What I like to do is actually go into the seller's store and see what else they're selling. Did they cherry pick this? Are they just throwing the bread and butter here? But even if it is just a bunch of bread and butter, it's still a lot of fun to learn and list. And there's definitely some money that could be made on this. This one sold for $217.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1963 Howdy Soda Bottle Kingston, and it says Ontario. So this is an old bottle, you guys. Would you have walked past it or picked it up? It sold for $103.50 plus shipping. The next item is this 1940s era Boy Scouts War Service Air Scout. It's an Eagle Rank vintage uniform. I don't know, a lot of words that I don't really know much about, but I do know that some Boy Scout stuff is collectible. This one is from the 1940s. Um, it sold for $1,325. So because it's over $1,000, let's go in and look. So the top bidders are at 552 and 762 feedback. So that's pretty good. The next item is this vintage Allen's drive-in restaurant. Again, more of an ephemera item. Um, super, super cool. It looks like it's still got the original little add-on piece of paper with the paper clip. $110 plus shipping, you guys. The next item is just pretty interesting. Um, I, if I saw this at a garage sale or an estate sale, I, I don't know if I would have picked it up because the condition is not great. It says vintage antique rare German mercury glass Christmas ornament boy hugging a tree. You guys, this sold for $638 plus shipping. So pretty amazing. The next item is this cast iron figure Figural, I guess another word I cannot say, uh, paperweight doorstop hummingbird old vintage antique. Um, somebody messaged me and they told me it's not a hummingbird. They told me what it was. And I cannot remember. But um, if you know what this is, let me know in the comments. 
This sold for $412 plus shipping. The next item is this unused antique 1930s hand-stitched quilt. Um, it's called Flower Garden. So a lot of these um, quilts have patterns and the patterns have names. If you can learn the pattern and put that in the title, that is definitely going to help you sell the item. This sold for $385 plus shipping. The next item is this Art Deco Bakelite uh, portable radio. If you guys do not know how to test for Bakelite, I do have a couple videos that show you how. It's super, super easy. And um, if you ever see these old radios uh, that look kind of plastic and this one's kind of marbled, check them because Bakelite in the title is going to help you get more money for your item. This sold for $157.50 plus shipping. The next item, speaking of, um, this one is not bake Bakelite, but this one is celluloid and it is one button. Now, this is not a huge money bolo, you guys, but if you could find like 10 of these or six of these off of a coat, you might be able to get 100 bucks out of them. I mean, this one button is selling for $25.05 plus shipping. The next item was um, sent to me from a member of the Facebook group. If you guys are in the Facebook group and you have an auction that's getting a lot of bids and you consider it to be a bolo, you can send me a private message on um, Facebook and I will share your item. So this is a Build-A-Bear African Springbok. It's from 2010 and it is rare. And she listed this originally and had a non-paying buyer. And then she listed it again and it went auction style and sold for $317 plus shipping. And the buyer paid and everything was good. The next item, I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, auto meter is not something that I would, I, like there's certain ones that like Mac and um, some John Deere that can go for more. We just know that they go for a lot. Auto meter, I've never heard of. And maybe that's why it's going so high because I've never heard of it. But the three stripes on the side is really important. Um, those typically go for more. But this sold for $1,625. Um, I have sold some snapback hats. A lot of mine go um, internationally. So a lot of international buyers look for these hats. I don't know if they collect them or exactly why, but let's look at the bid history. It looks like the winning bidder had 86, um, 86 feedback. So the next highest bidder was at one. And at $930, they had 257 at $900, 340. So still some decent bids. I don't know if this actually got paid for. That seems really high to me. The next item that sold are these super cute little reindeer. Um, they are Lefton, L-E-F-T-O-N. That is the brand. They are made in Japan. I love made in Japan. And these sold for $380 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Tiger, Wo Tiger Woods t-shirt. And you guys, they have it on a golf course. How funny is that? Um, do you guys like the background or do you think it's cheesy? Would you do it? Let me know in the comments. This sold for $640 plus shipping. The next item is this huge lot of 1600 vintage 1910 to 1970s photos. Um, pretty good deal if you ask me. This ended up only going for $173.50. And a lot of people will sell these photos individually. So um, pretty cool. I don't know if they put the best photos on the top. It's hard to say. but. Um, I, I'm surprised it didn't go for more. Probably a reseller buying this. The next item that sold is this rare vintage Norcrest Japan Christmas Snowman and Snow Lady. They're salt and pepper shakers, you guys. Super, super cute. $780. I, I'm speechless. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, they're darling, but $780? Let's see here. And the winning bidder had 1,275 feedback. Halloween Curtis Richards Vintage Paperback. This is a second print from 1979. And this sold for $192.50. You guys, it's a book. Um, an area that I usually pass on. And when I see these bolos, I'm like, I should be looking at the books. The next item is this vintage um, 
it says turquoise blue. They're not sure if it's rushed in. It's a Santa Claus rubber face. It looks like a rushed in, but I don't know. You guys look at the condition. It's not in great condition and he still sold for $620.53. I have noticed that the Santas that are pink and teal, uh, the harder to find ones do tend to bring a little more, but if it's a rushed in, anything rushed in almost always does well. Why on earth they have this on the ground? I have no idea. Um, it's a gunny sacks. These are typically a big money bolo. I think if um, anything, if they're going to lay it on the ground like that, they should have at least used photo room and made a white background because that's going to scare a lot of people off. They're going to think, okay, this dress is going to come to me filthy. Uh, it says the elastic at the cuffs will need replacing. So it's got some issues, but it's still, it sold for $110 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Bluebird Daisy or Disney Polly Pocket Aladdin Lion King and Beauty and the Beast and Minnie Mouse. So again, little Polly Pocket. It's got the little figures. Super, super cute. Sold for $285 plus shipping. The next item is this 1983 Los Angeles Charger San Diego. Um, it's a plush mascot and he's kind of kind of fun, right? Um Sold for $258.01. The next item is this 1915 Cracker Jack Burt Walling Original Vintage Baseball Card. So it's a Cracker Jack. And it sold for $76.99. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I believe this belonged to, yes, a member of my Facebook group. And they sent it to me and said there was an auction happening and it was unbranded. So that's the cool part. Um, this piece got attention even though it did not have a specific brand. It is really a really cool piece. It says vintage rhinestone costume jewelry necklace and earring set. So nothing really specific in the title either. And it says estate fine. This sold for $129.50 plus shipping. Taxidermy. So butterfly taxidermy can do well. The problem is it's really hard to ship. That's my opinion. This one sold for $102.50 plus shipping because you can't, you can't get banged around because if it does, those uh, butterflies can break. The next item is this vintage Kiss on Tour book program. So this is just a, um, it's a program and this sold for $355 plus shipping. Kiss band items can definitely be a bolo. I do have a bolo category video on those if you want to check that out to see more items that sell for a lot. Vintage 1952, the Santa Claus Big A book, or no, Santa Claus Book A Big Golden book by Katherine Jackson. So I think this is one of those bigger books. And this sold for $113.61 plus shipping. So that's pretty cool. And it's even got damage. The next item that sold are these vintage embroidered crochet pillowcases. And I have sold these before. Um, if they're in good condition, I will pick them up. Um, people do buy these. Um, these are pretty fancy. This sold for $192.38. And these are probably handmade. Somebody has probably made these. I don't can't verify that, but that would be my guess. The next item is this Ralph Lauren stadium hat. And if you guys don't know, Polo Ralph Lauren can definitely be a big money bolo. Big following for Ralph Lauren, especially the vintage stuff. This hat's really cool. Um, it sold on auction for $435 plus shipping. The next item is this Wolverine single stitch t-shirt. So if it is a single stitch, you definitely want to put that in the title, in the description, and show a picture of it like they did here. This sold for $237 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Disney store embroidered Alice in Wonderland long sleeve shirt from the 90s. Um, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if those are just patches that somebody's put on there. I don't think so because here we go, Disney store. So it was definitely made that way. And this sold for $192.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1970s G.I. Joe includes backpack, hat, and bulletproof vest. So these three old items sold for $202.50 plus shipping. So that takes me back to the listing where I showed you all of the accessories. 
That is why people buy those huge lots because they see something like this and they know what it's worth. Now, whether or not that particular listing had something special, I don't know. This is a vintage Sparkler 91 branch pom pom aluminum Christmas tree um, with a rotating base. So it's got the rotating base, which is super, super cool. Um, sold for $545 plus shipping. I've never seen one with a rotating base. That's pretty cool. This is an antique silk corset. So this is vintage lingerie from the Victorian times. And this sold for $610, you guys. How fantastic is that? And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Daisy Kingdom um, dress. It's lilacs and roses. It's a girl's size six. Um, a lot of these Daisy Kingdom brand dresses can definitely be a bolo. Um, I do have a bolo category video on vintage toddler dresses, uh, different brands to be on the lookout for. It is an older video, so definitely still do your homework if you check out that video. Um, but this one sold for $590 plus shipping. The next item is this little vintage antique tin wind up toy. He's the Lone Ranger with a lasso. Um, he sold for $285 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Suntour BMX pedals, and these sold for $605, $605 plus shipping. Retro, old school are in the title. This is new old stock. That is what NOS means. If you don't know, NOS is a great thing to put in the title. The next item is this vintage Patagonia. And um, these have been like holding their value. So if you see the material that looks like this and this particular style, definitely look into it. Uh, they go high for some reason and they have been trending for quite a while. Um, this one sold for $353 plus shipping. All right, you guys. So all of these items were auction items. And again, the reason for that is because I search eBay for auctions, active auctions to share in my Facebook group, and then we all watch it. So it's just kind of fun, but a lot of times people will check it out when I post it and they'll see that it's a big money bolo, but we never actually go back and look and see what it sold for. So this is kind of like a follow-up video. So my channel is all about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. So there's going to be some videos popping up here. There's going to be a subscribe here. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you hit that little bell, that will, will alert you when I post new videos. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.